deadlift. Okay, so this is probably the movement that recruits the single most amount of muscle mass in one rep out of any out of any exercise. Okay, it's a very complex lift. Works pretty much your entire posterior chain from your traps, lats, erect spine, glutes, hamstrings, and everything that stabilizes all the joints throughout that system. Okay, so the crucial aspect of these is making sure that you have good enough hip mechanics to be able to hinge to the required range of motion without flexing through your lower back, okay? If you've got that mobility, often it's a good idea to build it through something like a Romanian deadlift, cable hip hinge, barbell good morning before you try and address this movement. If you have that strength and that integrity through your hips, this is how you do it. You wanna start with your feet the majority of the way under the bar, not necessarily quite touching just yet, but just behind it, okay? I prefer to do these in bare feet, gets you a little bit lower to the floor, and if you're deadlifting in a running trainer, you find that's got a great big shock absorber in it that's gonna basically sap a load of strength you're trying to push into the floor with, okay? So, I like to think about these as feet upwards, okay? So I'll set the feet first, dress the bar, your hands are gonna be just outside your shins, relatively narrow start, just outside shoulder width. So, feet first, almost twist them into the floor, okay? Then we're looking to create tension through our upper body. Okay, so take a deep breath. And pack your lats. We're thinking about getting rid of your armpits here. Pulling that bar into you and create as much tension as you can on the floor. And then from here, we're simply going to press that floor away, bring the hips through. From the top, we're hinging back with the hips till we reach the knee. And then we're straight down. So in every repetition, I'm creating tension at the bottom of the rep before I try and move the bar. This is the most critical phase. Hinging back with the hips. There are all sorts of ways a deadlift can go wrong. People will tend to leave up with the hips first or they'll tend to not have adequate bracing of the lower back, so you'll see this thoracic flexion before the bar even comes away from the floor, and these can all be addressed through separate systems of training.